hi and welcome again to Megs in the City. This is my first haul. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is a long awaited buy, um, and it's the Lady Gaga. I got this at my local supermarket and they had an offer where it was both uh, the perfume and the lotion which I haven't used yet for 25 euro which I thought was amazing. I had just checked at my local drugstore and it cost 29 just for the same size bottled perfume. Sorry that this is so scratchy to bring out. Uh, so I have the 50ml perfume and I've got the 75ml lotion so hopefully that'll last me a while. It's both really good sizes and especially 25 euro. I've been after this forever. It's a really sweet smell. I've already used the perfume like I said and the really cool thing about it is that you can use the lid as a stand. And I think it's just amazing packaging. It's the first black liquid perfume that's been on the market. The design of the bottle is gorgeous. The smell is just fantastic. Um, I've gotten a few compliments on the smell already and when I've worn it out. And I just love it. I'd smelt it and really liked it last year already and I was tempted to buy it but for some reason I just didn't. I think I was waiting for it to go on sale and I never caught it while it was on sale and so I saw this and like I said it was a lot cheaper than at the drugstore and I went for it and I love scented lotions so hopefully this will last me a while. I don't know if it has shimmer to it yet. No, I believe it didn't when I tried it at the supermarket. We had a tester. No, so it goes on clear as well. It does come out as if it were black tinted but yeah, it's amazing. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's very sweet. So how do they describe it as? Tears of Belladonna, crushed heart of tiger orchidea, a black veil of incense, pulverized apricot, and the com combinative essences of saffron and honey drops. It just smells amazing. I love this. It's a little bit spiced without smelling spicy I guess and it definitely has sweet undertones and you can tell that there's that fruity apricot without it smelling artificial. It's delicious. I love it. Okay so the next item I picked up was this pair of Inji and there's nothing really special about them. They're from New Yorker. They're this very light brown color. I had no pair of jeans like this and they were only 2.95 euro so that's amazing and they fit. They're from New Yorker like I said and New Yorker tends to have really really squeezed skin tight jeans so the bottoms do feel pretty tight but the waist is kind of loose but they work and they were really cheap so can't complain. The next item is also a clothing item that I got at New Yorker, and it's this. Black dress. So, it's a black dress, and it's perfect for the winter. Again, I got it in the sale section. This was 9.95 euro, so a little bit less than 10 euro. So it's really good quality. It has a zipper on the back that is hidden and not shown because I hate that look. It seems to be very popular. It's got this neat pleather detailing on the sides and the skirt just goes out. So a bit of a skater skirt. It's not too fluffy and it has lining underneath so there's no way that this could show through. It's very comfortable. I don't know what material this is. But yeah, it looks perfect for winter. So I love it and I'm sure I'll get plenty of use out of it. The next thing I got was also from a drugstore and 
it's the Essence Holographic. body oil. I haven't tried this out yet, but it was also on sale and I couldn't resist. I've never seen anything like it and I love shimmer lotions, so I figured um, I might as well try this. I'm not too big into oils, but I was intrigued to try it. I've tried a little bit on my hand. I've not dared to put any on my face yet, but it comes out sort of cream shimmery color and it is very iridescent. You do get those opalescent colors, greens and purples, typical of holographic images. And so yeah, it gives you a little bit of shine. It feels all right even though it's an oil. I have this thing about textures, that's why I don't really use oils. But it doesn't seem to be too slimy if you will. And it's not got chunky glitter in it, which I'm glad for. Because an oil with chunky glitter would just be the roughest thing ever. And yeah, just a bit of shine. I think that could be interesting for New Year's, maybe to put on my shoulders or neck or just. That's cool. Oh, um, yeah, the price was $3.95 and it's an 85ml bottle. I don't know if this is part of the collection or something. I hope you can still find it if you're interested. But yeah, I thought it would be interesting for New Year's or going out. And the texture's not too bad. I was afraid that I would regret it. <laughs> A few other things that I got at New Yorker were these sets of bows, and I got them basically in every. Every color available because I have been liking wearing my hair in a high ponytail as of late and I've seen a lot of girls rocking the Ariana Grande style where they put the bow in front of the ponytail and they wear it lower than I do but I think it could look really nice in the front of a really high ponytail and yeah I got it in every color because honestly these were just one euro for two bows and if not then I might give them to my cousins if I don't like using them myself. Okay, the last thing I picked up in New Yorker were was this set of of ear cuffs that are hooked onto the earring. Uh one's in gold, one's in silver, it's pretty basic and it's just a little dot earring that connects each one. I had never had anything like this. I had been looking for one because I've seen it on people. It looks edgy, but it's not too bad. And I really, really like it. So this was 2.95 euro, so not too great, not too expensive either. And I can't wait to try it out, just edge up an outfit. Um, obviously not gonna wear it to a job interview, but it could be cool just for a regular day out or a night out. So the last store that I picked things up from is a store called Rosa Negra and it reminds me a lot of Spencer's that we had in the US and my brother and I loved when we were younger. Um, so it's a gift store and it's got novelty items, it's got a lot of really cool things um, and they're sadly going out of business so everything's been on sale for the last few months. So loud in here. Uh, so the first thing that I bought is this huge candle. And it doesn't really have a scent. It seemed like it would um, because the wax kind of smells. Uh, pine-like, but when you burn it, it doesn't really smell. Um, or at least I don't notice it. It's very light. Uh, and yeah, I love it. I've been burning candles lately. I can't show you my Buddha candle because it's almost burnt through, so it looks kind of creepy right now. And I also picked up these two really cute pine cone candles. And It's the same thing happening to me as with the Buddha candle, where they're gorgeous, but I'm kind of 
sad to light them because it's going to lose its shape and be less cute. But these aren't scented at all. They were part of the Christmas items. So the pine cone candles were one euro each, and then the big green candle was two euro, and it had been marked at seven euro, so pretty good. And I don't know how much these were originally, but everything was at least half off. And I also got um, postcards. Pokemon postcards, which I think are lovely, and I've got friends that will definitely appreciate this. I've been getting back into writing mail and letters, and I really like it. And these were six for one euro, so I'm gonna try and go back before they actually do close, see if I can get more, because these will just brighten up at one day, I'm sure. Um, and also it's something that if I don't find a use for it, I can give to my cousins <laughs> because I'm a child. So yeah, that's me done with my first haul video. Uh, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up below. Uh, the only other thing that I bought was a book, a very interesting book, which is going to be part of a Christmas present. So I do not want to show that in case that person does stumble upon my video, and um, yeah, very, very happy to have filmed this video. Uh, as usual, in the description box I'll have my Twitter and my Tumblr, my Facebook and my WordPress, and my Instagram in case you're interested in going on any of those, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! It seems to be quiet, I know. <laughs> They're going out of business. <coughs> Sorry. Shut up, Meg.